Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. That's the only way you can help your friends explore my channel and to keep me going refreshed and inspired. So if my videos are important to your studies, then also don't forget to subscribe. By the can deliver method, determine approximately the axial force in member JK, the shear force in HG, the moment at A, and the moment at joint I. So this was solved in example 74 by the portal method. This time, let's have cantilever method. So let's have the relative area because this is 10,000. So let's assume this is one square unit. This one is 1.2, this is 2, and this is 1.5. Uh, 2 is 20,000 over 10,000. 12,000 over 10,000 is 1.2. So that's the relative area. Therefore, area is 1.5 plus 2 plus 1.2 plus 1. Area is 5.7. And let's locate the neutral axis by making A as the reference. So area times XA is equal to area 1.5, equal to 2. 1.5 times 0 is not shown. So 2 times 7.5 plus 1.2 times 13.5, where 13.5 is 7.5 plus 6, then plus 1 times 22.5, where 22.5 is 7.5 plus 6 plus 9. Area of this column times 22.5. So XA is equal to 9.421 meters. So let's show that on the figure. So this is the neutral axis and this is XA. So by the way, the columns half, half of this distance is 1.8, half of this column height is 2.25, half of 4.5, half of 3.6. Then let's show XA. 9.421 meters. By the way, the green colored uh, figures are distances. Then this distance is 9.421 minus 7.5, so 1.921 meters. And this distance is uh, 6 minus 1.921 is 4.079. And this distance for XD is 22.5 minus 9.421 and that's 13.079 so i1 equals i2 because the column areas are the same and it is equal to summation area distance square so area 1 1 area a 1.5 distance 9.421 square plus 2 times 1.921 square plus 1.2 times 4.079 square, then plus one moment, uh, area of this column, one times 13.079 quantity square. So I1 equals I2 equals I equals 331.54 units to the fourth. We then show the stress diagram. This is FHI, FGJ. Then by principle, FHI over area, that makes its actual stress, equals moment at level two, distance 9.421 divided by I. But let's solve for a moment at level 2 first. It is equal to 60 times 1.8. So it is 108 kilonewton meters. While the moment at this level 1 is 60 times quantity 3.6 plus 2.25 plus 100 times 2.25. And it is 576 kilonewton meter. So for FHI, 
divided by area, which is 1.5 equals moment at level 2, 108, then xa which is 9.421 divided by i from my over i from mechanics of materials but the distance of area one area this area here is 9.421 and that's the moment of inertia so fhi is equal to 4.603 kilonewtons then we solve for fgj fgj divided by area 2 equals moment at level 2, 108, distance 1.921 over moment of inertia 31.54. So FGJ equals 1.252 kilonewtons. We then draw the FPD of this part to solve for force of FGK. So these are the shear forces not yet known, and at JK here, midpoint. We have known unknown shear, but if we sum up moment about this point one here, we can solve for FGK. So summation moment about point one equals zero. So FGK times 1.8 counterclockwise positive here. Then plus 4.603 times 7.5 plus 3 is 10.5 plus 1.252 times 3 where 3 is half of 6 and distance 7.5 that's 7.5 then equals 60 times 1.8 60 times 1.8 so from there we can solve for FGK it is positive, so it's correct. It is compression 31.06 kilonewtons. Then for the other forces, VHG, let's have it on the next slide. But let's solve for this force first. FEH, we need this. So FEH divided by area, which is 1.5. So that's the axial stress equals moment at level 2, distance 9.421 divided by I, 31.54 kN. So FEH is 24.55 kN. So remember that. Let's have that on the next slide. So let's continue. Remember the FEH is 24.55. So it is now here, then uh, 4.603, remember, because F H I is 4.603, so that's also 4.603, and this is VHG. So summation moment about this point equals zero, or summation forces Y rather, to solve for VHG. So VHG plus 4.603 equals 24.55 where 4.603 is equal to for force axial force in hi so if we draw the free body diagram of this if hi is downward 4.603 that's why that's also 4.603 so shear in hi can now be computed it is equal to 19.25 kilonewton so it's very close to portal method 20.5 something I think then next is the moment at A so we need this shear force here and this is the free body diagram to solve for this shear force to solve for this shear force we need to solve for VHI first so considering the free body diagram of this part summation moment about this point we can solve for VHI so summation moment about this point equals 0, VHI times 1.8 equals 4.603 times 3.75. So VHI is equal to 9.590 kilonewtons. So if we sum up moment about this point, then we can solve VH. So summation moment about HG equals 0. 
by the way, this is 19.95. It is 24.55 minus 4.603. So VH times 2.25 plus VHI, which is 9.59 times 1.8. Then plus 4.603, that's also clockwise, times 3.75, then equals 24.55 times 3.75. So that's the only equation. So VH is equal to 25.573 kilonewtons. And by action reaction, it is right towards so the moment that A is counterclockwise, and it is 25.573 times uh, half of this column, 2.25. So moment that A is 25.573 times 2.25. Again, I am not uh, doing the FED. It is uh, it is clear. Uh, by action reaction, VEH is right toward. And we have a column here of height, uh, half of 4.5, so 2.25. So moment arm is 2.25. So moment at A is equal to 57.54 kilonewton meter counterclockwise as compared to 60 kilonewton meter for portal method. So they're close. Finally, moment at I is just 4.603 times 3.75 or 9.59 times 1.8 either way so i'll use 4.603 times 3.75 so moment at i is equal to 17.26 kilonewton meter as compared to 18 kilonewton meter in portal method so that's it for this problem